But let us take a moment now to look at the final image on your charts, what is represented by a cluster of circles with a very squarish looking spiral on it. This is also a tool that was created in our society that we find very advantageous for transformative shifting and here is how to use it hold the image at whatever distance from your eyes allows you to naturally and comfortably look at the spiral as if it is more three-dimensional in the sense that it describes a cube not all the sides are there not all the lines are there but if you look at it in the right way you will see that it starts to look very much like a three-dimensional cube in a sense sitting on top of the cluster of spheres when it is at the appropriate comfortable distance that you begin to see it that way and can see certain lines sort of looking you can imagine that these lines are now coming toward you or some of them are going away from you and it takes on that dimensional quality when you see it describing or defining a cubic volume of space that's the appropriate way to see it that's the appropriate distance to look at it from so that you will know at that moment it's going to be the most effective when you start doing the exercise that goes along with it because what it's doing right then is it's calling upon the aspects of your neurology the aspects of your brain chemistry that interpret the idea of dimensionality of going from one dimension to another of a shift of an upliftment of an acceleration of an ascension that very shift itself seeing something go in your mind's eye from two to three dimensions is exactly the same place you want to be in the brain in the neurology to go from three to four four to five and so on and so on it's the same spot so when this is appearing to you to be a more dimensional shape that's the time to use it at that moment and here is how you use it it goes along with what we already said with regard to desire and definition and dedication and detachment those four components because what you're going to do is you're going to use this spiral four times each day <clears throat> once a day in terms of an actual meditation but four times in the meditation once a day <clears throat> now here's how you will use it the first time is this first of all <clears throat> just for let's say practice start at the top the line at the top and follow it down into the center then when you get to the center follow that spiral back out to the top that's what you're going to do basically is follow the line down to the center and then follow the line back out to the top while it's looking three-dimensional so you may feel that when you're following the line sometimes your gaze is coming toward you sometimes your gaze is going away from you so on and so forth now the first time you will use it when you are in a comfortable space breathing easily the first time you will use it what you will do is you will simply be open this will be representative of the state of desire just the expression the statement that you have a desire to explore and discover more of who you are just in that state of being that willingness that openness in that state you will then trace the line down with your eyes all the way to the center when you get to the center you will simply remain there for a moment now <clears throat> you will either feel something get something get information get a picture get an idea or not but 
If you do not immediately get anything recognizably different, there will still come a time, there will still come a moment when you feel you've been in the center long enough. At that moment, when you feel it's time to go, follow the line with your gaze back out, follow the spiral back up and out to the top. That will be the first time. Whatever it is you got in the center, if anything, add that to your second trip down the spiral. Now feeling, now focusing on the concept of your definition. Looking for your definition, looking for insight <clears throat> into your beliefs, into your blueprint, into your definition. Follow the line down again with that intention in mind to the center. <clears throat> again, hang there as you say long enough so that you feel like if you've gotten any kind of even a slight flicker of information, <clears throat> then take that back up with you. If you get nothing, stay there until you feel you've stayed there long enough and then move. Go back out. Again, if you did get something, an image, a thought, an idea, an inspiration, <clears throat> a feeling, a twinge, a flicker, doesn't matter. Take that, add it to the concept of dedication and dedicate yourself to going back down the spiral to be given more information, to clarify the vision, make it more precise, make it easier to understand, get another tidbit, another aspect, another component, whatever it is, <clears throat> get put in touch with another feeling, however it comes to you. Hear a sound, smell a smell, feel a touch, hear some music, doesn't matter. Go down the spiral with the concept and intent of dedication, see what you get, come back out, whatever you got, take it with you the fourth time. Now with the intention to detach from that which does not serve. Go down the spiral, see what you get, and come back up. You take this trip four times in each of these conditions, in each of these intentions of desire, definition, dedication, detachment. That's all you do. Now, <clears throat> before you do this, before you do this spiral exercise, first, say out loud four times I desire to define my dedication to detachment I desire to define my dedication to detachment I desire to define my dedication to detachment I desire to define my dedication to detachment, to to detachment. you say that four times then you do what we just described, going down and up the spiral four times. Then after you've done that, you put that diagram down and you go to the diagram of nine circles and you allow yourself to read the sentence at the bottom, out loud. This will have the effect of coloring, spicing, magnifying, amplifying whatever it is you did in the previous exercise in a way that is tailored specifically for you and your imagination you and your method of absorbing information so once you have said the phrase four times gone up and down the spiral four times said the final affirmation once just once put all that away for that day then from that point forward have a journal and a pen or pencil ready through the rest of that day or for the 24 hours as you say between this time you did this and the next time you did it or will do it pay attention to 
any increased synchronicities that occur, write them down. When you notice them, write them down. Make a note and write them down. If you don't have your notepad with you when you notice it, make a mental note and when you get home to the writing pad, write it down. Log it. <clears throat> also, in addition to logging any synchronicities that occur from that point forward, note your dreams. Write down anything you believe in the dream that night is significant. Anything at all. Write it down. Take note of it. Then, the next day, do this again. Make the four statements, or the statement four times. Go up and down the spiral four times. Do the final spicing affirmation. Then pay attention to synchronicity. Write it down. Pay attention to your dreams that night. Write it down. And the next day, do it again. And again and again. Within 30 to 90 days, you will see an expanded increase in synchronicity and more information and awareness and inspiration coming to you about your core beliefs and ways and techniques that will allow you the best possible way and the most powerful way to transform them and to transform your reality into that which is more aligned with what you prefer it to be. This is an exceptionally powerful tool. Do it once a day, not twice, once a day. Every day and see what happens in 30 to 90 of your days. I guarantee you things will change. Just keep doing it. Have fun. Don't make it a task. Have fun. But let it be powerful. Really sit with it. Really mean it. Remember, really want to change. My little light bulbs. Then you will shine. Then you will shine. So, take this technique to heart. And remember that as you do this, every day, and as you feel yourself expanding, and the synchronicity in your life increasing, magnifying, amplifying, and your dreams <clears throat> magnifying, amplifying, communicating, inspiring you, and of course, simultaneously, acting on your highest joy every moment that you can, and keeping your body clear, all this together, all this together, you will see profound acceleration profound acceleration. If at any moment it seems to get a little too much for you, that's all right. Take your time. You won't ruin it. This is for you to use at your own rate, in your own way, in your own time. But it will work if you use it. And you will see that it is so and give yourself the proof you need. You will create your own proof that it works very rapidly very rapidly. So, take a deep breath in and let it out. <clears throat> take a deep breath in and let it out. <clears throat> One more time, deep breath in. Let it out. <clears throat> let it go. Let it go, let it go. <clears throat>